everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to edit a landscape photo using the brand new collection from Sleek Lens and that is called the Winter Illuminated Collection. So I have this photo right here and I want to make it look like a real moody uh, moody winter photo and to do that I'm going to apply a couple uh, a couple of actions in, in uh, Adobe Photoshop but then I'm also going to apply some snow as well. And so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is open my actions panel with the Winter Illuminated Actions preloaded. So I'm going to go to Window actions and pull those up right there you can see I have them already loaded so I'm just going to expand that and you can see all the different collections that we can apply all the different actions uh, tons of stuff to do many many combinations that you can uh, enhance your photos with but the one I'm going to use right now is called the magic bokeh effect so I'm going to click on that one and click the play button and you see I get a notification here that says with a soft black brush paint off magic bokeh effect off subject and so I'm going to click stop right there and now all I'm going to do is apply a layer mask and I'm going to get a regular brush so I'm going to take the size down a little bit it's just a, a regular black brush I'm going to make sure my foreground color is black and now this will allow me to paint away off of the subject which is technically the barn here I can paint away the effect so it's actually removing the effect from the barn while still keeping it on the rest of the photo and this is actually working out pretty well. It looks pretty cool. I, I, I really want the barn to be tack sharp, uh, by, but have the effect applied everywhere else. So speaking of sharpening, I'm going to apply another effect, and that is the sharpen effect. So I'm going to make sure the background layer is selected, click sharpen, and click play. And what this one does is it applies a sharpening to the whole image, but it removes it with a layer mask. And why it does that is it allows you to paint back in what you want to be sharpened. So I'm going to click that right there, click the layer mask, make sure my uh, background or my foreground color is white, and I'm just going to paint in what I want to be sharpened. And so uh, you can probably not see it as well on this video, but definitely on screen you can see that it's sharpening the, uh, the barn a pretty good amount, so it, it definitely stands out from the rest of the photo. So I'm just going to quickly paint over the rest of it and there we go so one of the last major edits I'm gonna do here is an actual co uh, contrast uh, it's not gonna enhance it too much which is good but I want to add a little bit more whites in the white and get a little bit more darkness in the uh, in the dark and uh, the shadows area here so I'm gonna click the amazing contrast action right there make sure the background layer is selected and I'm gonna click play and all I'm gonna do is just move this to the top to make sure that it enhances everything and there you go you can see kind of the effect it gives not too much but it does give it a good effect if I want to add another another amount of the contrast there I can just actually duplicate that layer and it does the exact same thing so actually I'm gonna keep that one right there I like the way that looks okay so now I'm done with my basic edits now I want to apply the snow here so I'm just gonna minimize the actions panel and I'm gonna get a blank layer and I'm gonna go over here to my brushes and I've already installed the winter illuminated brushes here so I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and I have all of these brushes here and I'm just gonna click this one right here I'm just basically testing out which ones I want to use so I'm just gonna click these and you can see the kind of uh, the kind of effect it gives to the 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 brush here. So I'm just going to keep enlarging it till I get a good a good amount here. You can see there's a bunch of small dots, larger dots, and uh, it makes it just kind of mimic snow here. So I'm going to click once here, and you can see the kind of effect it gives. And I'm going to click one more time to kind of make it a little bit more uh, a little bit more heavy snow. So right around there, I love the way that looks. It actually looks pretty well. But the one thing that uh, not a lot of people do to their snow, I'm just going to get a regular brush here. One thing that not a lot of people do to their snow is actually apply a blur. This already has a blur, but I want to add a motion blur as well. And so I'm going to add more of a motion blur by clicking on the layer, going to filter, blur, motion blur. And now I want to, I can choose the angle that I want the snow to be blurred at. And so I'm just going to click right here and make sure that uh, we can blur it out a little bit more if we wanted to. I want to make it look pretty heavy. So on this particular image, I'm using a round of 50, uh, 50 distance and an angle around 60, 61. I'm going to click OK. So now it looks like there's heavy snow falling and uh, it blends in with the photo really well and I really like how that looks. So let's look at the before. This was our before photo. And so we added a sharpening here, which just sharpened the barn. We added a bokeh effect, which kind of made it a, a hazy, uh, hazy, blurry, dreamy effect. We did some contrast with both of these here. 
and then we added our snow. So you can see how simple, quick, and easy that was to add a, a very winter feel to your photos, to your landscape photos, just using a couple clicks, a couple actions, and a couple brushes. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick little tutorial on how to edit landscape photos using the Winter Illuminated Collections from Sleek Lens. This has been Jordan from SleekLens.com, and I'll see you in the next video.